Yeah, my lifestyle is a lot different than most Americans, for sure. And, you know, I basically don't go out to restaurants to eat. I don't eat processed food, junk food. 99% of the food that I consume is what I make here. And a lot, some of it is actually what I grow myself. I don't grow all my own food. My place is not big enough. What sent me down this route is because I almost lost my life. I mean, if that's something people really need to know about me is that I almost lost my life. And that's why I'm so serious about what I do because I, I saw the consequences of not paying attention and not caring so much about what you eat and how you take care of yourself. Because I'm always, when you almost die when after, in your 20s, I mean, it's not a fun place where the doctor tells you, like, you might not make it out of the hospital alive. If I want to live, which was my choice, I could have just continued to eat, you know, standard diet food, not grow my own food and rely on others to produce my food and prepare my food for me. And then I could get what every American gets, which the top killers are heart disease and cancer and, you know, diabetes and things that are preventable by our lifestyle. And my lifestyle, as, as crazy as it is, is focused around me trying to live as healthy as I can in the environment that I live in. So I got started in the garden probably about 10 years into my dietary changes. So, you know, all along my journey, one of my goals is can I constant and never ending improvement. So like I always try to improve and like I wasn't really aware the quality of the food I was eating was so important because I always go to farmers markets growing up in California and buy organic food, which is like, you know, supposed to be healthier than conventional, which I would agree with that. My friend would give me like some homegrown food that he made with rock dust and different soil nutrients. And I would taste the food and it's like, wow, this food tastes better. You know, it's more alive, it's more vibrant. I need to start doing this myself because like, honestly, this is like the next level for me to like improve what I'm doing in my life. So that really got me started to, and motivated me to like, okay, John, you gotta grow your own food now because that's the next level, your next evolution of your diet to take your diet to the next level. And then I found that actually I really enjoyed it a lot because it really gets you, gets your hands in the dirt, connected with nature, and then allows you to have access to food that you know you wouldn't otherwise be able to find. I made my Growing Your Greens YouTube channel basically right when I started getting into gardening more full tilt. So I'd already kind of grown some tomatoes in the periphery and like no major big deal. But when I started my Growing Your Greens channel, it's because I saw a family called the Dervais family who lived in Pasadena, California, who basically converted their whole backyard into like a farm and actually had raised beds and actually sold the produce to the local community. And I was like, wow, these people are amazing. And I want to see how they do that because I want to do that for me, not for like to sell or anything. So then I was like, you know, I want to start to teach this to others so like the first videos of my growing your greens is like literally it's my front yard and you see me and my and my friend stage like we're picking out and digging the irrigation trenches and the lines to grow a garden because i want to document how i did it in case somebody else was like me and wanted to do it themselves so i have a lot of information that goes back literally showing how to start if you live in a standard residential tract house. Most people don't have 10 acres or even an acre to grow food. Everybody lives in a tract house. I mean, tract houses are taking over the country. And like, but everybody could make a significant impact in the food and the quality of the food and saving money by growing their own food. So I was like, this is what I need to do because it's gonna help people. And it's kind of fun. And I kind of enjoy making videos and sharing my life with others because I know I am making a difference in the world. I want to give back, I mean, help thy fellow man, you know, and living in service is very important to me. So also just living my lifestyle and then more importantly, share it with others on my YouTube channels, for example, to like share what I've learned so that I could impact and make a positive impact on other people's lives based on my experience of almost losing my life and going through everything that I've done because I've invested lots of hours and I could be there with the information that they, that I've learned already that now they could benefit from. So that's just incredibly rewarding to feel that yourself. And you can't put a monetary value on like helping somebody and like save. I mean, John, you helped me lose weight. You helped me like eat, eat healthier. And I never felt better. You know, now I'll be at my kid's graduation now or whatever. Like, so like that really kind of, you know, helps keep me going.